FCT Minister Boris Tanyasunwike says President Bola Tinibu has directed the FCT administration to refurbish the former Ministry of Agriculture building to accommodate the newly established Ministry of Livestock. The refurbishment will be overseen by the Federal Capital Development Authority. This announcement comes after the minister conducted an inspection of the building located in the central business district of Abuja. He also visited the ongoing construction of the Kubo International Market along the Abuja Kefi Expressway on Wednesday. ADBN FCT correspondent Naomi Oleribe has details. At the inspection, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barista Nyesom Wike, described the project as an emergency work, explaining that companies would soon be invited to assess the building and submit quotation for the refurbishment. He further noted that an integrity test has already been conducted with the results confirming that the building is in good condition. The uh, creation of the Minister of Livestock is a welcome development that you can see people are happy waiting for it to start. And so now that that place has been identified, the president has ordered the uh, FCT administration through the FCDA to look at it and we have seen the integrity test, which is okay, and we we'll have to rehabilitate and furnish it, and then, then you will see the Minister of Livestock take over. In addition, the Minister directed the Department of Development Control to demolish structures obstructing the road corridor leading to Kubo International Market from Pape. He stressed that the demolition would clear the way for smoother access to the market. We will not allow that. And the Women Control Director is there. He had been ordered to immediately move him with his men to demolish whatever is an obstacle. Again, the contractor should, as a matter of fact, too, I mean, the investor should, as a matter of fact, see that he puts in more funds to see the realization of the entire market. Speaking about the market, Barista Wiki highlighted that it is being developed through a public-private partnership. He assured that his administration would collaborate with the investor to ensure that the first phase of the market project offers affordable spaces for traders aiming to discourage roadside trading within the FCT. Naomi Olewibi, ADBN News.